Welcome back to the Heavenly 80s. This week we've got a very special guest. Please welcome Mr. Abe Froman. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Who are you? Abe Froman. You're Abe Froman. That's me. The sausage king of Chicago. That's right. Oh yeah, that is you. Come on in. Let's go back to the show! To the Heavenly 80s! My name is Christopher, and this is my dad. I knew you were an Abe dad. Alright. What are we talking about this week, Chris? Oh, we are talking about this week. Ferris? F Fela Bueller's Day Off! <laughs> it's not Fearless Bueller. Ferris Bueller. Ferris Bueller's Day Off! And um, see this movie is like this um the teenager that fakes um school and everything like pretends to be sick, and his friend that is really sick and his girlfriend rather, and they all like an adventure. That's right. It came out in 1986. It was directed. You know who directed that? Me. John Hughes. What is it? Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club, Home Alone, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. He is. Uh, yeah, he did Home Alone too. He is like the definitive director of uh, the 80s. Tons of great 80s movies. I think he did uh, 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 16 Candles and a bunch of others. Yeah, just just great movies. Yeah, yeah. So what did you like so much about uh, Ferris Bueller's? You just, we watched it a bunch of times. Uh, you saw it again it's, yesterday. It's exactly like Breakfast Club. It's like it, like when you he like hear what the movie's going to be about, I think it's going to be all stupid, right? But when you see the movie, it's so small, like, and everything. It has so much adventure, like, and That's really funny, right? Yeah, it's really funny. What's your favorite part? Um, probably the, um, when, um, his girlfriend kisses his dad. <laughs> I heard you laughing when, when that came on yesterday. It's so weird. Yeah, that is kind of funny. Yeah, he goes to, uh, pick up Sloane, right? And, yeah. um, pretends to be... Her dad, and then he starts making out with her in front of the school. And, uh, and the, um, the principal's like, So that's how it is in that family. <laughs> yeah, great, great movie. Uh, okay, um. So, what's the big question? So, uh, uh, let, let me tee it up here. The end of the movie, right? Really famous scene. They've been out driving around all day in his best friend Cameron's father's a really expensive, fancy uh, sports car. I looked it up, it's a 1961. Ferrari, California. At the time, it was worth three hundred thousand uh, dollars. Nobody could even touch it. And it's in the garage. Um, his dad loved it more than his wife. That's what he says. He loves it more than everybody, right? And they go joyriding in it, and they uh, run up um, the miles. Well, they don't, but the guys who uh, yes, park the car, like they run up the cars. Basically. Right. So they take in. So the miles are really, really high, and they go back to the the garage. And how do they try to uh, erase the miles? Really stupid. Well, um, they like drive. They go so fast. They like they go up this hill. No, no, no. They go. He puts it in reverse. Remember, he oh, does yes. it backwards, and he thinks it'll rewind the miles. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Only works on VHS. It doesn't work on odometers. Yeah. Yeah. Rewind. So um, the numbers are just going up, and then they talk about how are we going to fix this? And Cameron says he doesn't care. And then what does he do? He um kicks the car over and over like, and then like the thing to like hold it gets off and then like goes and then falls all the way to like the trees and yeah. all the place yeah they had a garage that was like on some kind of hill or something yeah the most fanciest house ever. yeah yeah and it goes through the garage over like the cliff of a house of a of the hill down uh, the hill and is basically destroyed the super expensive car so we thought uh, what what, what's the big question? What happens to Cameron? What's his dad he gonna do? What's he, is he gonna go to jail or something? What? what happens when Cameron's dad gets home, right? So Cameron, Ferris offers to him, let me take the heat for it. You know, say that I did it. 
And Cameron says, no, I want to take it. I want to take it. And um, that's kind of it. And the idea is that this is Cameron kind of growing up, becoming a man. Um, but we never find out what happens when Cameron's dad uh, gets home. So what do you think happens? Oh, let's see. I, I think this is two things. I think they might, um, the mom, um, they're going to get divorced because... because, <laughs> because they, of divorce? Maybe. Yeah. That could happen because... Why? Because she's going to defend Cameron? Yeah, but yeah, it's like defend Cameron. Like, like, I'm like, I'm like, honey, this is just a stupid car. This is worth it. This is our son. Mm -hmm. You should be very um happy because we have him. Mm -hmm. But then, um, it, but the dad is still mad. Like, I don't care about this stupid kid. I want this very, very, very worthful um, car. Mm -hmm. And like they, they got divorced, mm -hmm. and if it doesn't happen, maybe he got another car that he really likes. Yeah, you got to think he had insurance on the car, so he, theoretically he'd get his money back. I th you'd think he'd get the value of the car. Mm -hmm. So can he maybe go buy another one? I don't know how hard they they were to find. You know, one thing we never meet his parents, right? We never see yeah. his parents, so we don't know what kind of people they are. I wondered, like, is he gonna hit him? Is he is he gonna beat up Cameron when he get, is he like a like a drunk or something? Is he violent? Do you think that that any Maybe of that could happen? He's gonna he's gonna like he's gonna put him in school right when he's really sick. Or make him go to school. Yeah. And he was about to go to college, I think. I mean, the, the idea was this was their last year in high school. They're about to go um, to college. I wondered, does he not let him go to the college that he wanted to go because the money that Maybe he was like, gonna spend on the college? Maybe like a call college. The teachers had to make calls. <laughs> Yeah, that would be really ironic. <laughs> make him make him build him a new car. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's one, right? So you got to think they were, they looked like they were rich people, right? So I imagine he was going to a really expensive school. Does he say no? You can't go to the expensive school. You got to go to like a local state college or community college. And the money that we were gonna spend on you going to school, I'm gonna take now um, to to fix the car, buy the car. Yeah, yeah. But and you know what? I'm sorry, God. Huh? What were you going to say? You're the star of the show. I don't want to interrupt you. Okay. So, but you know what? They make it sound like the dad is so mean, and maybe he is mean, but but if he got really mad over that car, you know what? Mm. He should be really mad. That's a terrible thing that he True. did. <laughs> Imagine, I'd be really mad at you if you destroyed a $300,000 car. But remember, his, um, Cameron said that like he liked the car better than the wife, which is really yeah, mean. But it wasn't like in an accident or anything. It's not even like he took it out and he got in in an accident. He was kicking it and then destroyed the garage. And he was he was trying to lie to his dad. The, uh, you know, they were trying to like like get one over on his dad. Um, so maybe he should have just been honest from the beginning because he it just would have had more miles on it. It wouldn't have been that bad. Maybe um. Um, Ferris Bueller is gonna get in trouble. I wondered if he actually does end up blaming him because he, he, at the moment, he's all like the tough guy, but I can't believe he actually just tells his dad, "Yeah, this is what I did." You know? Do you know what I think the most likely thing is, and maybe the smartest thing? Maybe, maybe he was like, "Uh, uh, oh, my dad, um, daddy, um, um, um," and then <coughs> Ferris Bueller. Um, comes in and like, um, this is all my fault, okay? Maybe. I thought about that, but you know what the problem with that would be? What? Then Ferris would be giving up that he didn't go to school, um, that he wasn't sick, that he was out driving a car around all day, right? That's why he did And that, the, whole, the whole neighborhood knows it. It was on the news that this kid is sick. So that would give everything up. So I don't think Ferris can, can take the heat. He, he works so hard not to get caught. I don't think he could go and say, yeah, I took the car, because that blows up the whole thing. The, the, no, I think he can do it. I think he's he, he he's brave. He wants to, he's going to do it for his best friend. But then he ruins everything. He probably gets kicked out of school. Exactly, but he just does it. He might get um, go to jail. The father could could say that he stole his car and, and prosecute him. Wait, well, maybe he doesn't kick out of school because the principal, number like the girlfriend and found his wallet. No. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that's a whole other episode, but I think he's going to lose his job, Mr. Rooney. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. the new principal doesn't know anything about it. It's on the computer, how many days he missed, right? Yeah. I get, but maybe you're right. Yeah, I guess it's not so bad if he doesn't miss one more day. Um, but you know what? 
maybe is like the most likely scenario, right? So we know that these kids are liars. They don't mind lying to authority, and <laughs> right? So why not just, not that I would advocate this because you should always be honest with your parents, but in this situation, these characters, I feel like it's likely that maybe the, what they do is the father comes home, the car's in the bottom of the hill, and you just go, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Somebody must have broken. <laughs> maybe maybe a bear did or something. I don't know. Yeah, blame it on the bear. <laughs> we live in a forest, so what? Yeah. Why would you have to say anything? I should be like, I have no idea. I don't. I mean, is he is he going to jump to the conclusion that his son stole the car, took it what for if, a joyride, and then if, drove it out the wait, garage? What if the dad sees? Um, like the like drive try fix or fix his car and then drive it. And he he wants to like why is it so slow and everything. Like he checks the drive the car. You can't drive the car now. No, like you fi- no like. Oh, if you fixed it, yeah. Like the um numbers that um how much gas he has, you see it when it's broken. It's like all like real. The yeah, yeah. I like the bear idea. That might be the best idea. Blame it on a bear. Yeah, like I have no idea. A bear must have knocked. Fuse the- bills. Day off. To... <laughs> Revenge of the Bear. The Revenge of the Bear. <laughs> All right, I like the idea. I say ultimately what happens is they don't come clean about it. They lie to the dad about what happened. You blame it on a bear. Okay. Agreed. This is 15 minutes long. Wow. Not totally. No, because we had the other stuff. Oh, uh, yes. So we can have your idea. It's yeah. uh... All right. Now what? Um... Subscribe this video, hit that like button, and hit the no and share, and make a ding that noise. And after you do that, put on. on some glasses. And then when you put on glasses, do the no occasion again. <laughs> okay. And that's it. We'll see you next time on... On Heavenly Ace! Woo! You're still here? It's over! Go home!